This channel is devoted to encouraging its viewers to do it by yourself. Gardening, landscaping, culinary, and other God-given talents create an absolutely invigorating, peaceful, and a uniquely nurturing and holistic lifestyle. Living spaces, large and small, can benefit from these budget-friendly tasks and projects. So take this journey with Ms. Martha. You have one life to live, so engage in it with passion. Once again, we're out here, and Ms. Marv is so happy, delighted. That's a great word. A lot of times I say excited, but we're very delighted to see you. And since it's about 42 degrees, we're not going to belabor the point too much about what we're going to do. So let's just jump right in. Let's look at these. I have a yellow one and a red one. And then if you look over here, this is the first one and you might say, Miss Marva, what made you decide to, to, to put these together? I can tell you what, I was looking online, as we go back over and look at the other, I was looking online and I saw, I saw vertical features for your landscape, things that you can do. And then I went online, of course, and I went online and um, I saw the price. <laughs> I did not want to invest that. And after looking at it, I said, you know what? Plus, I want to do something. No power tools. No power tools are involved in any of these. Before we go any further, you're going to look right now and see the before photo that was taken over in front of this tree. You see what I did, what I disassembled to put the obelisk together. While we're here, look at this. This is similar to what you will see in the video. And what happened, and this is one that I painted. Those were old and broken down. Actually, when I go over here, when I go over here, <laughs> look, I didn't know this was still here. This is one of the boards. I guess I was in a hurry. But this was one of the boards that I used to, when I told you it was old, it really was. And what I would do, I would put them up here. But before that, I had to get me a hammer. You get your hammer if you have some. And all you do is just a rubber mallet and just knock them, knock them loose. And then you mat the, um, the little nails or whatever, mat them. Now, as I'm walking back over this way, let's get back over here. Be careful, I'm sorry. When we come back over here, I wanted to make sure that the ones that I put together were about the same height. And you say, as far as creativity uh, and imagination, this is what this is about. Oh, and I'm going to jump real fast. Our word for today, but this episode is, thank you God for the warm sun on my face again, ingenuity, that's our word, and you might say, for all of you who know what it is, well I had to ask Alexa, a few more definitions, it's about being resourceful, being clever, using your imagination, and coming up with different ideas to create something that's different than you need to. Okay, now, you might say, how did you, what did you use, what are your materials? Your materials are, oh, and I'm not gonna be, I'm, I'm gonna be straight up with y'all. You see green clean off the spot. I said so, you too. I have a, my youngest son, uh, and he, he should remember this, he gave me this when he was younger. He gave me this, and this is my side. Uh, some folks we know and you're going to relate to this use newspaper <laughs> we start out with newspaper and uh, learn how to 
detailed vehicles, different things like that. And so he went from, from us doing that together, or starting them out, to what's going on now. So there you find this on YouTube. And uh, please check it out. <laughs> Leave a comment. Let him know you know about Miss Marvel, okay? So uh, anyway, but he uh, retired after 24 years in the Marines. Simplified. And uh, salute. Back to what we're talking about. Okay. I have two types of twine. Two types of twine. Two. Put these together. This is that six millimeter jute. Okay, and more specifically, I'm going to tell you the name of it, about that. I wrote it down, I want to make sure. All right, this is a six millimeter, and it sounds crazy. This. this one is a six millimeter, it's natural jute twine, that's what you look for. And I got bought 33 feet of it for $7.99. Uh, $7 this is a three ply right here. And okay, look. This is that three ply. And I realized that the three ply would not be strong enough and that I needed to get something else. Before that, I think I had some kind of cord I was trying. But eventually, this is what we need now. This one was. Nine eighty nine, and uh, it's by it was it's by Tenwell, and I got it uh, ordered online and everything. Okay, let's let's look at you might say, Miss Marvel. Okay, I don't I don't have a big raised bed. I don't have different things in it. I want to put mine in a pot or something. Okay, what I'm gonna do is uh, get my gloves. Remember, during this lockdown, keep yourself productive. Not busy for the sake of busy, but productive. What I would do, you might say you're gonna cut it first. No. <laughs> uh, what I'm gonna do, and I just stuck these in here, okay? And you just, you just stick them in there. It's bad if you go over and stick them in there first. And so then I just kind of did something like this, and did something like this. Then I tried to come back around with that. And then I'm like, okay, let me take these darn gloves off. That's what I'm glad to do. Let me take the gloves off. And so what I did, I, I actually kind of just tried to loop everything in. And you might think of a better way to do it, but that's all you're trying to do is just loop them in and then whirl things back around and and eventually after you get it the way you want it you just tie it off I, you, just, you just tie it off and it's gonna stay there you just gonna you just gonna take the time and uh, tie it off okay you tie it off like that and then you're gonna cut it and like I said I'm not gonna cut this because I don't I don't really need this one but then that's all you do is get your scissors and tie it off and that's why you can start out that's why you always put your you know your stakes in first and now uh, since i'm not using this i can just like take that up onto but i'm gonna go with you know oh and what do we have in here <laughs> what do we have that i love right paint <laughs> one it depends on the size and these are empty I'm just holding on to the truck and paint going up real fast I probably use one and a half of this yellow and maybe two for the one over there and then with the red paint I probably use and remember now if you want to go ahead and spray them over by something else, 
and put them there. Or you can spray them around where you're gonna put them. Just put down some plastic. And then spray over that just so you can see. Man. I uh I'm I'm very I'm very happy about this because if you come over here come this way. Man, I just want you to walk down this pathway. You walk down and see that doesn't capture your attention. You see the vertical structures that actually capture your attention. And that's what I enjoy. I'm thrilled that even though it's winter, I have this color in my garden that brings me joy. I I wanted to say too that I read something and this I'm up now that it, it was, I read something that was very inspiring. It says, the source, your greatest victory will come in the form of your greatest frustration. So whatever it is that's frustrating you and in the end, that's something that you will be victorious over. So, I'm trying to think when it comes. Oh. You know I got to say what? One more thing. One more thing. 36 inch stakes. Remember I told you about it. Look back at the video that had look back at the video that where we talked about um the garden, the um the doing with the metal art with the roots and everything like that. That's what this is that I want on my if you don't if you want something else, get you some of these bamboo poles that we use for staking beans and peas, whatever like that. Spray those jokers and put you some twine around it and put it around your garden because you're probably going to do that too. So, like I said before, in closing, I just want to make sure that this is very, very simple because you don't just, you just need not some poles and you need some, uh, and you need some juice that uh, six plant. So, um, anyway, you are able to be clever, resourceful, and and rise to the challenge um, with this or anything. So don't make any kind of excuse and get yourself outside. Get some fresh air. Look, get some fresh air. Layer your clothes and uh, get yourself some boots, <laughs> gloves, hats, and everything like that. Um, and so this is a series. That's what I want to let you know too. So this is a part of the series. This is a part of a series about um, having a winter garden that's colorful and fun and make you happy smile. So with that, Ms. Marva says, be blessed, stay safe, and use your ingenuity. Bye. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with all your friends, and hit the notifications button. We'll see you again next time.